Hi, I'm Maddie. Have you ever considered which animal would make the best mum? A mother's duties begin with pregnancy, but even after 2.3 million seconds worth of morning sickness, incredible fatigue, back pain and weird food cravings, we humans actually have it pretty easy. Oh, the joy. If a human mother weighs 140 pounds and gives birth to a child weighing seven, that's an eye-watering 5% of her body weight that she pops out during labour. This achievement is eclipsed in the natural world. A kiwi lays an egg half her own weight. That's like me giving birth to an Alsatian. Of course, once the baby is out, that's when the true mothering really takes place. Parenting styles have always been subject to much debate. Now, now, children. All right, come on now. But in terms of dedication, the octopus comes out as a true warrior. Depending on the species, these sea creatures lay between 50,000 and 200,000 eggs, and the mother is dedicated to each and every one. These eggs are a bite-sized snack to any passing predator, so she guards them for the 40 days it takes them to hatch, never ever leaving their side, not even for food. In fact, to keep hunger at bay, she might even eat one of her own arms. When the young hatch, the mothers are often so weak that most octopus mums die. Now that's dedication. The beautiful mother lapwing has the most remarkable parenting technique. When a predator approaches, it runs away. It may not seem very affectionate, but she's crafty. Whenever a predator comes close, the lapwing mum pretends to have a broken wing. This immediately grabs the attention of the predator, drawing it away from the nest and the precious chicks. Spiders may not seem like the most maternal creatures, and indeed that's true for most species, who just wrap their eggs in silk and leave them to it. But the mother wolf spider is different. She actually straps a sack full of eggs around her like a walking nursery, carrying them with her everywhere she goes. Then when the kids hatch, they climb up onto their mother's abdomen, often several layers deep, and they hitch a ride until they're old enough to fend for themselves. But they've got a long way to go to beat Mother Nature's top mother, the orangutan. These great apes have the most dependent animal babies of them all. For the first four months of its life, the child almost never breaks contact with its mother. Even at this young age, the baby's hands are so strong that they can hang on from their mother's chest hair. As they grow, they continue to show dependence, breastfeeding until the age of five and staying in close quarters until they're six or seven. But come on, let's be honest, the best mum in the world is your own. If you want to see more cute animal babies, then why not check out our devoted animal babies series? See you next time on Earth Unplugged. End of the baby's first day, what happens next? What happens over the next few weeks and months? We'll just uh, move into a sort of monitoring uh, thing where we, you know, we want the, the baby to, to be nourished 